After a possible tornado touched down in Panama City last night, the community is cleaning up and assessing the damage today. Residents in the area of 19th and Clay Avenue are dealing with a significant amount of storm damage and debris on the street. News 13's Emma Riley joins us live in Panama City. Emma, what is it like out there today? Jenna, as you can see behind me, crews have cleaned up those power lines, but residents spent the day cleaning up debris from their homes. Residents I spoke with earlier that had significantly damaged had significant damage to their homes told me that they potentially saved a man's life. A possible tornado came through Panama City, causing severe damage to homes on 19th and Clay Avenue Friday evening. That's where Lisa Morales and her husband live. Morales says at the time of the storm, a man was doing some work on their roof. All I could hear was that man, oh Jesus, please God help me, y'all help me, please help me. And I, I, I tell my husband, I said, you have to help him help. We're trying to open the door to get him in. Could not get the door open. The back door blew in. Um, I could clearly see the tornado. I'm screaming. We're still trying to now open this door. Couldn't get the door open. Finally got the door open with him hitting, hitting the front door and the dumpster coming at him, which could have killed him. She says she witnessed what looked like a tornado headed straight for her house. It was very scary. I think more scary than Michael, actually, because it was so fast, very fast. And I actually seen that I, with, with that door blowing off in the back. I actually witnessed that that wind. Had, I mean, it was so fast. It was horrible. Once it passed, Morales looked through her window to see devastating damage. Oh, my gosh, the devastating. When I seen that, I said, oh, my gosh, we just went through something horrible. When I walked out and looked, the trailer was on my car. My husband's windshield is broke and just whoo, everything is just a nightmare. It's like reliving Michael all over again. And from this point, you don't know which way to go. Morales and her husband are still without power and unsure when they'll get it back. She says inside her home is ankle deep water. Across the street, one home had the roof completely torn off. Morales says at the time, a 19 year old boy was in the house taking shelter in the bathtub, the only spot that was not damaged. Antonio Lopez and his family live right next door and say they were terrified. It was just yeah, windy. You could just hear the this was shaking like a lot. And then glass broken and everything. It was scary as heck. Crews with the Florida Power and Light, phone and cable services are still working to restore the power and services to the areas. And the city of Panama City is working on debris removal. Emma, what can people that are still displaced from their homes do? They can call the American Red Cross hotline and Bay County Emergency Services is still asking that people report the damage through the link on their Facebook. You can find that at mypanhandle.com. Thanks, Emma. Hope everybody's staying safe. Emma Riley reporting live.